Hello everyone. Today in the math class we are going to do exercise 2.3. Solve the following. We are going to solve the equation, given equations and find out the roots or find out the value of the given variable whether it is x, y, z or t. Okay. The first sum 3x is equal to 2x plus 18. So x, x, the like terms you bring together, 3x minus 2x is equal to 18, 3 minus 2 is 1, so x is equal to 18. Okay. The for after solving two exercises or after going through exercise 2.1 and 2.2, I don't think so. There will be any difficulty in understanding these uh, solutions. Okay. Here you see 5t minus 3 is equal to 3t minus 5 taking 3t on the other side of equal to sign and minus 3 on the other side. So just to satisfy the need of the like terms. Okay, 5t minus 3t is equal to 3 when it goes on the other side becomes positive 3. So minus 5 plus 3. 5 minus 3 is 2, 2t is equal to minus 2, why? Because here minus 5, 5 is bigger than its carrying negative sign, so the answer is also negative, t is equal to minus 2 divided by 2 gives you minus 1, t is equal to negative 1 or minus 1. Now the third equation, these are similar type of sums you can see where you have to bring only the like terms closer and do the solution, carry out the calculation. 5 minus 3x as usual bring 3x towards 5x and 9 towards 5 and so the sign changes 5 minus 3 is 2 and 5 minus 9 is minus 4, bigger from smaller number when you are subtracting you get a negative answer. So x is equal to minus 4 by 2 and x is equal to minus 2. Let's move on to the next one. See, you can see this is third sum and I have jumped to sixth sum. This itself tells you that fourth and fifth sum you have to calculate on your own. They are of the above type which I have explained you just now. This is little different. You can see he, there is a bracket over here and 3 is multiplied with that bracket. Okay. So in this case we have to first open up the bracket. We have to solve this part of the equation. Right. Now we move on to the next step. 8x plus 4 is equal to 3 is multiplied to the bracket. So all the terms inside the bracket will be multiplied with 3. x into 3, 3x minus 1 into 3 gives you minus 3 plus 7. 3 is not multiplied with 7. Why? Because the bracket gets completed over here, closed over here after minus 1. So only x and minus 1 is multiplied with 3. Then rest of the solution is as the earlier sums which you have seen. 8x minus 3x is equal to minus 3 plus 7 minus 4. You have your own choice of adding and subtracting, but directly I will show you minus 3 plus 7, positive 4, positive 4 minus 4 gives you 0. Here 8 minus 3 is 5, 5x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0 divided by 5. When 0 is divided by any number, the answer is 0. Is that clear to you? Therefore, x is equal to 0. This sign is therefore this represents three dots non-collinear dots points so represents therefore okay now we move on to the seventh one x is equal to 4 by 5 multiplied by x plus 10 here 4 what is the difference between this sum and this sum here only 3 is there which is multiplied with this bracket it's not a fraction number and here it's a fraction number 4 by 5 right it has a denominator so instead of 
multiplying the denominator with these two terms in the bracket i would take 5 to the other side of is equal to sign okay so 5 when it goes on the other side denominator will become numerator so it's equal to 5x is equal to and 4 I have multiplied with x and 4 I have multiplied with 10. So 4x plus 40. Okay. So we have next step 5x minus 4x. 4x you bring it on the other side you get 5x minus 4x is equal to 40. 5 minus 4 is 1. Therefore x is equal to 40. Okay. Now we move on to the next sum. 2x upon 3 plus 1 is equal to 7x upon 15 plus 3. Now you have denominators, fraction numbers. Take the like terms together. 2x upon 3 minus 7x upon 15 is equal to 3 minus 1. We will leave these number aside. We won't disturb this. We will only calculate out the LCM between these two numbers. 3 and 15 these two denominators and as I told you earlier 15 is multiple of 3 and we have only two numbers where one is factor of the bigger number smaller number is factor of the bigger number or you can say bigger number is multiple of the smaller number then the bigger number is going to be the LCM otherwise you have another choice where you can calculate LCM by by doing uh, by the method of prime factorization okay so here i have stated lcm is equal to 15 now which term has to be converted or uh, made changes in the term is this one 2x upon 3 so 10x upon 15 how did you get it to get to make or convert 3 into 15 what am i going to do i'm going to multiply 5 because 5 3 is a 15 numerator and denominator both the numbers i'll be multiplying with 5 5 by 5 2 5 are 10 and 3 5 are 15 so that's how i got 10x upon 15 so i've replaced 2x by 3 with 10x by 15 so 10x by 15 minus 7x by 15 is equal to 3 minus 1 2 10 minus 7 gives you 3 15 is the common denominator so now you take it on the other side takes up numerator 2 multiplied by 15 and 3 comes in the denominator place 3 5 are 15 okay in 3 stable you get 15 when you multiply it with 5 so now we have next statement x is equal to 2 5 are 10 x equal to 10 is that clear to you okay now we move on to the ninth equation Again you have fraction numbers but the variable is not carrying uh, fraction number as its coefficient. It's the constant term which is fraction number and after you find the constant numbers fraction or any fraction numbers in the equation then what you have to see whether they are like fractions or not means whether they are fractions with like denominator or not. Is it clear to you? See, you can see these fraction numbers. Okay. And the next step is to check their denominators. So, on checking, I could find that they are fractions with like denominators. Dono ke denominators same hai. To aap leao, like terms ko nazdik leao. 2y plus y minus y when it comes on the other side becomes plus y. And 5 by 3 when you take it on the other side becomes negative 5 by 3 now without doing any kind of changes you can subtract here you need not find out LCM to make the denominator same here the denominators are already same so you can see 2y plus y is equal to 3y and 26 minus 5 gives you 21 and the denominator 3 is already there upon 3 so next step here you can see 21 divided by 3 gives you 7 and this 3 when it comes in the denominator place the answer will be 7 upon 3 7 by 3 okay here I have already divided 21 by 3 which gives me 7 
and then this 3 comes in the denominator place so you have 7 by 3 y is equal to 7 by 3 then sum now you can see 3m is equal to 5m minus 8 by 5 taking 5m on the other side 3m minus 5m is equal to minus 8 by 5 this gives you minus 2m is equal to minus 8 upon 5 and then you can see on taking my negative 2 on the other side you have m is equal to minus 8 upon 5 multiplied by minus 2 negative negative becomes positive and on dividing 8 by 2 I get 4 upon 5 therefore m is equal to 4 upon 5 so is that clear to you so now we can move on to the next exercise in the next video